No, uh, it's not really common. Um, usually the people that you see that are uh, training up and trying to earn their EIB are usually NCOs who have been around for a little bit. Um, but every once in a while you do see uh, a lower enlisted Joe like myself who um, has the opportunity and uh, is able to earn the badge. Unique. A little bit exhausting. Uh, challenging. It was draining. It's very rewarding. But very rewarding. Uh, first person I called was my husband. Uh, I like to rub it in now. I have an extra badge that he doesn't. My mother. My mom and my dad, definitely. So the first person that called me actually was my wife, Megan. And uh, my grandfather, a long time ago, he had his EIB and everything, so I know that this kind of means a lot to the family and to him. To be perfectly honest, my initial thoughts about ESB testing was that it's skill level one tasks, that it couldn't be that challenging. Uh, and so after this week, I've got a new appreciation for it. I'm very much humbled. Being one of the first females to get this badge outside the U.S. is extremely rewarding and it's something that I'm extremely proud of and hopefully it inspires other females to go out and try for this badge because it's something that we could definitely all achieve. To make sure that you have a good understanding, show the graders that you care um, and that you're putting in the effort. And then the last thing is when you're actually out there testing and training, Make sure that you stick with a group of people that want it just as much as you do and are willing to help you. Um, don't go in it at alone. Don't, don't go alone.